I would invite you to spend a little time now in silent prayer with God. If you've got something that's built up that you need to talk to him privately about, do that at this time. If you just need to spend a little time in the deepest parts of your heart and soul with God, let's do that. So give us a time for a moment of silence before I lead us in prayer. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for your provision for us. Thank you for how you've done great things. And now we would ask that you would help us at this time of need. We pray for healing from the sickness of this virus and also other illnesses that are going around, from the grief we're feeling for those that have lost loved ones or going through a difficult time. And we pray for those in our community who are going through addictions, we pray that you would heal them. Heal anyone that's hurt, either on the inside or outside in our community. We pray for our um, local government, for our city council, for our commissioners. And we pray for protection. We pray for our churches, that you would bless them and help them to be able to do what is good and right and also be able to um, meet the needs of the people in their congregations. We pray for our federal government, for our Congress, Supreme Court, our President. We pray that you would bless them and keep them healthy and guide them and help them to give the very best that they can to help us out as far as their administration and leadership. We pray for our local governor and our, uh, for this state and our legislators that you would bless them and guide them and help them to make um, the very best use of the resources we have and also to have wise um, restrictions and not overbearing. Pray for our courts that we would keep them um, active and make it so that they will assure justice for the people. We pray for our hospitals now that are experiencing extra stress. We pray for the maintenance and custodial staff, those that are aides and other workers that are so needed. We pray for our doctors and nurses in our hospitals that you would bless them and protect them and keep them healthy. Pray for safety for everybody, even those going to and from the hospital as um, they may experience um, just the no normal hazards that we have. We pray for the supplies and protection to continue to, to come through for our hospitals. We pray for our producers, those that provide for us, we pray that you would protect them and keep them healthy, help them to be able to um, get the goods to the market and also those that are transporting our goods, truck drivers, we pray that you would bless them and keep them healthy and safe. We pray for the good prices, pray for good weather and for fair trade. 
We pray for our military. We pray that you would bless them and bless those who protect our nation, that you would protect them from illness and especially help those who are um, separated from their families. We pray for emergency responders. We pray that you would bless them and protect them and keep them healthy and help them to make those difficult decisions. And the law enforcement, I pray that you would grant them wisdom during these difficult times to know how they should deal with the new regulations and restrictions and how they can best protect our communities. Pray for our schools. Pray that you would bless those who are um, trying to administer this new um, curriculum and new way of teaching. We pray for the parents at home. That you would bless them and help them to be able to provide support. And um, many of them will probably be wrestling with new experiences in education. I pray that you would help them and help those who provide meals for the kids. Pray for the lessons that they would meet the needs of the, of the kids. And we pray especially for the students that they would learn everything they need to learn, that they would not... Um, be tempted to slack off, but to keep learning so that they could be successful. We pray for um, all of the staff that are trying to make sure that um, the kids still learn and are kept safe. We pray for the lessons that they would be meaningful to the kids and, and that the kids would be able to um, learn from them. And we know online is sometimes got its limitations so we pray that you would help them to learn um, all that they need to learn um, to be successful we pray for those who are incarcerated we ask that you would bless them and keep them healthy help them to be reconciled with their families and to god we pray for proper treatments for them if they have addictions, pray for healing for their souls that they might grow close to their families again and, and to their communities that they might be completely reconciled and that they would be when they are released that they would be able to work and to live in a community in a way that honors you. We pray for our missionaries we pray that you would help them now that they may be facing transportation and safety and health issues and the difficulties that they may face in a land that's experiencing the same kind of restrictions that we're experiencing here or even more. Pray that their needs would all be met. And we pray for the Christians who are in lands where they're persecuted. We pray that you would bless them and protect them keep them healthy, and help them to be able to share their faith even during these difficult times. We pray that all of their needs would be met as well. We ask that you would be with us as we live in our communities, and I pray that we would be able to live in a way that um, honors you and during these uh, trying times. Now we would pray together the prayer that you taught us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.